This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, October the 18th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you from Oklahoma City and the site of the National Weather Association's annual meeting. Let's get right to the maps. There's a look at the surface map for today, and we have high pressure settling in over the western Ohio River Valley, and that's going to be a big feature for us for the week ahead. In the upper atmosphere, the a rather chilly trough that has brought some cold weather to the eastern half of the country is moving off the east coast today, and that will be heading out into the Atlantic as a ridge to our west comes over us. Temperatures across the U.S. a bit warm for the most part, but we notice across the uh, edge of the Mississippi River Valley and into the Ohio River Valley a lot of rather chilly numbers with uh, some below freezing in that area. We even have a few freezing values in central Alabama as we see uh, that uh, Fort Payne is dipped to 32 and we had a little frost yesterday and I suspect we're having a little frost in the northeast again this morning. Temperatures in central Alabama generally uh, running around uh, the lower 40s for the most part. On the watch warning map you can see lots of frost and freeze advisories. That's those light blue and uh, dark blue areas. We also have some flash flood watches out in the southwestern United States. No QPF for us. That is no uh, quantitative precipitation forecast for us for the next five days. As a matter of fact, it looks like we're going to stay dry into next weekend, but it's going to be wet out to our west, uh, that uh, area just to the south of Brownsville, uh, as a result of the weak tropical disturbance. The Storm Prediction Center is out looking at marginal risk for severe storms generally over uh, southern uh, Nevada and southwestern Utah and northwestern uh, Arizona. And on day two, no uh, uh, severe weather risks. All right, tropics, we have uh, an area of disturbed weather that moved across Belize yesterday and is over the parts of the Yucatan Peninsula this morning. The big question is, what's that going to do? And right now, the Hurricane Center is not giving it much chance to develop into anything. In the eastern Pacific, we have a disturbed area just off the Central American coast, which is not expected to develop over the next several days. But we do have Olaf, and Olaf is a hurricane this morning and is expected to become a major hurricane uh, Monday and uh, stay that way into Tuesday. All right, let's get to the maps over for uh, the southeastern U.S. And there's a look at the surface uh, map for this afternoon, and we see the high pressure settling in over the western Ohio River Valley by Sunday. That high has continued to slide to the east and is over the Carolinas, but it's making its influence felt all the way back to Texas. It's going to continue that way even into Tuesday as we see the high moving out into the Atlantic, the center of the high, that is, but uh, the influence of it extending back all the way into the lower Mississippi River Valley. In the upper atmosphere, we've got an uh, upper ridge over us that is building stronger. In the meantime, we have a a very deep trough over the western U.S. that extends all the way down into Baja, California. And these two are going to be duking it out for much of the week ahead. The high pressure stays with us on Wednesday, and in the upper atmosphere, the ridge gets stronger, and uh, the trough to our west just doesn't advance much. By Thursday, the trough showing signs of uh, at least pieces of it coming out. We can see one of those pieces coming out uh, across eastern Colorado, Nebraska, and Kansas. And that will bring wet weather uh, to the western part of Texas and western Oklahoma. And we also see the disturbance or the area of disturbed weather in the southwestern Gulf. And the European, pretty much in agreement, uh, not exactly, but very close in, in the agreement for uh, the wet weather to be where the wet weather is going to occur. By th Friday, the ridge is stronger over the southeastern U.S., and it's holding its own, so uh, meaning that the trough is having trouble advancing, so the uh, weather pattern is somewhat stagnant. We get out uh, on the surface map to Friday, and you can see that the weather is still out over Texas and Oklahoma. It's advanced a little bit, but not much. And once again, the GFS and the European in pretty good agreement. The Euro a little bit faster, a little further to the east uh, than the GFS, and that's going to stay that way in the uh, European's forecast. The ridge really gets pinched off here between the uh, disturbance that's out in the Atlantic and the trough coming out of the, the western U.S., and that keeps a very narrow band of moisture, and you can see the surface low over southeastern Texas, and once again, the euro doing something the same. In this case, uh, the uh, GFS a little bit stronger with the surface low, 
um, than the euro. But you can see the problem is it's going to be hugging the coast all the way from Mexico up into uh, Texas, so it's not likely to develop into much of anything. The ridge finally pushes down to the southeast, and that allows the upper trough to come out across uh, west Texas and western Oklahoma on uh, Sunday, and that brings the rain a lot closer. The GFS still holding it back a little to our west on uh, Sunday, but the GFS, on the other hand, uh, is bringing some wet weather into our area on Sunday. Because of uh, the races at Talladega, we're going to go out into Monday, which is the edge of voodoo country, and we can see that the GFS pretty much bringing in some wet weather during the day on Monday and the European doing much the same thing. So it uh, looks like for Talladega races, if you're headed out that way, it looks like it will probably be dry, but this is certainly one of those uh, stay tuned sc scenarios. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann, I think, will have one tomorrow morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for the latest updates on Alabama's weather. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.